Underground drainage lines in farm fields allow excess water to be removed so planting can be completed earlier under drier conditions and other field operations such as spraying or harvesting can be done in a timely fashion. But as the water flows away, it takes nutrients with it, primarily nitrogen that benefits crop growth. A suggestion is being offered by the Natural Resources Conservation Service. Put a gate at the end of the tile line and keep it closed most of the time. It starts when they're putting their fertilizers on, you know, doing it at the right time, the right source, the right way, uh, the right amount, those kind of things. But then also uh, timing with the crops that they're raising, possibly using cover crops. So it's kind of a holistic system. So we want to work with them from the start of their nutrient cycle all the way through till it gets down into the uh, subsurface water. And that's where drainage water management is kind of that last step of nutrient management. Controlled drainage can improve management of cropland and improve water quality downstream. This NRCS system has sophisticated measuring of subsurface water depth and the level of nutrients in the drainage water. It can also be operated remotely. We run this whole site by satellite. You could sit in your office and run the gates. You could see the level, um, know that you either had to open it or not open it for a field operation. And then you could sit in your office and just tell it to open the gate. Agribusiness and farming interest are being held responsible for the nutrient content of water flowing into rivers and the Gulf of Mexico, where a hypoxia zone is linked to farming practices upstream. Through good management, farmers can keep their nutrients on the fields and have a lower concentration in drainage water that goes to municipal water treatment plants and estuaries that consider it a pollutant. For the Agribusiness Report, I'm Ken Root.